you why don't you look into your crystal ball and, and see where we're going to say you know two to five years you know near term with with SDDC I you know cloud in 2009 was was getting big and now cloud has just washed over everything is is, is SDDC going to be the same kind of thing I, I first it's going to be large enterprises but where will we be you know a, a few years down the road with this idea yeah, uh, good question, and uh, gosh, I, I, we're getting towards the end of the year. Everybody's asking, uh, you know, the analysts when we're doing our year-end posts, and, and I'm not a huge fan of those, um, but, you know, definitely if we look out, you know, it, it, it's the, the latest buzzword is definitely SDDC. I, I do kind of agree with Mark um, that, you know, the industry as a whole, uh, you know, on, on the vendor and, and on the analyst side tend to glom on to some of these things, just like... Uh, uh, I, I forget who said it, but you know, uh, I think it was Rich said, you know, customers don't have a line item to buy the software-defined data center. They didn't have a line item um, for converged infrastructure, but you know, that that's been a huge trend. Um, but you know, absolutely, there was that the, the discussion of it's the data, uh, and companies need to be understanding how to control and get more out of their data and innovate with what they're doing in IT. Um, and so, you know, if I look out three to five years from now, uh, I don't think SDDC is going to be a term uh, that we'll be talking about in five years. Uh, you know, the talk was, you know, we, we don't talk about, you know, the, the World Wide Web anymore, uh, and soon we won't talk about the cloud. It's just going to be a part of what we're doing. Um, but absolutely, the shift uh, where uh, the, the services that are delivered, uh, especially for, we're talking about for storage and networking, uh, are, are going to be pulled a lot more away from hardware. So. You know, big questions is what does that mean for you know the, the guys who have dominated those spaces? I mean, you know, networking has basically been a monopoly for the last 15 years, and, and storage, while there are you know a handful of players that make it up, uh, it, it is highly fragmented. Um, you know, I, I think that there definitely is a huge opportunity, probably a once in 15 year opportunity, that networking is going to be shaken up. Um, I, I went to a big user conference down in New York City, and uh, all of the users said they want a software ecosystem to be able to help them, you know, do what they want to do. And on the storage side, uh, you know, I think five years from now, storage will still be heavily fragmented. It is a very complex space. Uh, there will probably be some change in the rankings, and there'll be some new players there. Uh, but you know, it, it's easy to say, uh, you know, it, it keeps the, the the analysts real busy. Is storage is a very frothy market, and there's lots going on there. Peter, you talked about uh, networking. It's going to right, right, right up your alley. Uh, where, where are we going to be with SDDC, you know, a few years down the road, and then how will that involve uh, networking? Yeah, I think we've all seen this movie before. I think maybe there's not a lot of doubt from everybody here that things are going to change, right? Because we saw this happen with servers. We saw them being vendor proprietary lock-in, uh, OS and CPUs in lockstep together, and you have to go to one vendor to get a solution and or switch vendors. And then hypervising freed that up. Now we can have applications separate from the servers with orchestration, with automation all around it. And I think that's where people want the network to be. I think the network will be there, whether it's through software-defined networking or open flow or other methods coming along, uh, ways to make the network be more like servers versus like networks have been in the past. And storage, of course, is part of that more as well, the modernization war that we need to fight to get it so our data centers can move quicker, can have applications uh, IT respond to business needs, all the things that we are part way along, and, and we should be further along. Uh, Mark, looking at your crystal ball, I mean, is this going to be a, a, a given that this, this takes off, or will we just look back at this and say this is the hula hoop of 2013? Oh, I, I do think it's more than just a hula hoop. I mean, I kind of think it is a, a term that we rally around, which is fine for now. But I think one of the things that's going to drive it is actually the consumption model, right? IT is really accustomed to the DIY or do-it-yourself model where they take these different components, bolt them together, and that's what they're really, really good at. I think uh, solutions like SimpliVity, their OmniCube is a good example of let's get rid of that complexity, right? Let's take that server storage networking hypervisor, uh, put it all together. Let's change that consumption unit, what it looks like. So instead of talking about and it's not going to go away anytime soon. But instead of talking about the individual components, networking, server, and storage, it's going to be that converged platform, hyper-converged, integrated computing platform, whatever we call it, that really is that consumption or that building block that IT uses. So now that er what needs to drive that is ultimately software. And I think you're going to see more of a shift of what it means from a management perspective and less and less focus on those individual tiers of infrastructure. And I think we already see that happening. People what do you mean by that, the, the management shift? What? 
Can you talk about that a little bit? Oh, yeah. So I think from the management ship, and I mentioned that earlier, where instead of going in and uh, looking at things from an individual networking storage server kind of perspective, being able to really have a infrastructure that's driven by policy. I mean, that's as simple as it says, where I provision a VM or an application, and based on the policy that I give that around those typical IP things, around security, performance, availability, all those different pieces, that infrastructure responds. So I can really provision, just as I do from the cloud today, provision that platinum, gold, silver, bronze type of service. And what gets provisioned underneath ultimately happens in more of an automated fashion as opposed to today where it's a very hands-on fashion. So what is it? It's software-driven, uh, really, then that consumption model is going to promote and change that software driven as opposed to that manual process we do today. Uh, Rich, your, your crystal ball for where we'll be with this, uh, you know, two to five years down the road, is this going to be, uh, you know, the, the foundation of the data center going forward? I, I believe it is. If you look at uh, a couple factors, one, start at a data, physical data center and kind of build it up from there, the cost for a company to go out and invest in something of that size is measured on, you know, tens to hundreds of millions, depending on the size. So there's going to be some shift to aggregate that, you know, and that's maybe one aspect of, of what a um, cloud provider can can host, and that would build a hybrid type infrastructure. But ultimately, it's the operational inertia wrapped around it. So to the point, whether it's called cloud or software-defined, um, you know, a bit of a detail, but I think the shift to more of a um, horizontally scalable platform for applications to run on top of is the uh, direction that things are going. Mm -hmm. it, uh, a couple people mentioned, you know, going back five or ten years where you had an OS tied to hardware, tied to CPU, very siloed, um, the course of time kind of tore that model down. And I think this is just a continuation of that. I think it's great for CNBC to talk about this thing called cloud, so maybe that's the word that stays with it. What that ultimately means below it is a lot of uh, policy to drive application. Mm -hmm.